Okay. They have a chair. They've got two chairs. I came up here for a fucking stove. Not worth it. I'm interested what's in the other house, though. Up. Oh. Yeah, I'm getting out. Move on me way, then. Get out. God, they're so pissy. Oh shit, yeah, they get annoyed if I walk up here. Get Crap. Out. God, get you're so... Out. Get out. Do they ever say anything else? Alright, hang on. Once they turn their backs, they'll never know. What the hell's that guy doing? Looking for something? Nope. I'm looking for you to turn away. Get out, get out of here. Sick, they're smart. Actually, wait, what about... Over here. I mean, I'm behind a pillar, so... I was going to say, I... What are you planning? How the hell did he see... Did he see me? Yeah, I know. I know. I do remember doing that in the past. I'm also certain it's tied to a... Uh... It's tied to a quest, though. Martha? Um, just let me sleep. But I want to sleep in your bed instead. My health is much lower. Spare a coin for a poor farmer. We have nothing to eat. My wife Martha is sick. Can't you find work here? I had work guarding the cows, but Martha needs me now. We're down to our last few coins. Minecraft's a bit different. It's a game I play if I want to kill time. That's about it. I don't really enjoy it. Well, I mean, I do, kind of, but it's a game where there's not... Oh, no, it's not got a story. Oh, well, I guess it kind of does, but... Yeah, Minecraft's a, a weird beast for me. It's like I've not played it in a very, very long time. And I have a lot of other stuff I can play instead. Although a game, a game that's like Minecraft that I like a shitload more is Dragon Quest Builders. That game's phenomenal. It's basically Dragon Quest Minecraft. It's awesome. Here, 25 gold pieces. Thank you. Thank you from the bottom of my heart. Good luck, and don't give up hope. I won't. Thank you. Oh, wait. Can I help you? Are you a healer? My wife is so sick, I fear the worst. I have a potion. What's wrong with her? She's feverish. I blame these cursed bloody ruins. Why? How did they make her ill? They came out of the ground right next to my damn farm. Next day, Martha caught this fever, and she's got sicker since then. I don't know what to do. Her only hope is Master Belshaw. Who is Master Belshaw? A mage from the monastery. He spends his time at the Shrine of the Flame, back in the gutters. He cares about poor farmers like us. No one else does. Mm. I have other things to do. Alright, jeez. More people. I really want to sneak into that house. But it appears that that is a bit of a pain in the ass to do. Unless... Draw them over here. They didn't even know. Hmm. They're all like really fucking eagle eyed. I guess the fact he could probably see me. Yep. <laughs> Damn. Get out. Yeah, when I I like to play games that have a set goal. Whereas Minecraft, it's just kind of like mindless wandering. I mean, yeah, you make progression by, you know, mining stuff, building structures, etc. But that's basically it. I mean, I played it an, a lot back in like the beta stage. Like that's when I bought it. You're new here, right? Aside from that, let you in. Huh? I've only played it. I've probably played it in total, like, under 10 hours. 
like since the game officially got released. Unless you count mods. I played Pixelmon a lot. But I played it with a friend. And uh, aside from them though, <laughs> with Pixelmon it was mostly just all about the Pokemon. Yeah. Yes. I'm from outside. You're breaking the Inquisitor's new laws. You know that. You should be more careful. You tell the wrong people, you can get yourself in trouble. I don't care. You've had trouble with the law. Ha! The law is just an excuse to lock us all in the town. The Order wants to loot the ruins in peace. Once they've taken the last crumb of gold out of the ruins, they'll let us out again. Don Esteban figured that out right away. Uh, that makes sense. Why are you in the town and not in the swamp? Simple. The Don doesn't let go of things that belong to him. Some of us are keeping business going here until the Inquisition move on. Okay. What business do you do? Anything that brings gold. Gold's the only way we can challenge the Order and the Warriors, isn't it? Taking the town back is what it's all about. We control the town, we control the island. For now, though, the Inquisitor and Commandant Carlos are in charge. So what's your step? All right. I grew up with Pokemon, so yeah. Uh... What's the Order doing about the Don's men? They stop us where they can. Since they came here with their fancy white uniforms, they've never taken their eyes off us. They're just waiting for us to step out of line. Then they'll take us to the monastery. Keep your eye out for Sebastian. He's always around, watching. Okay. Sounds like you could use some help. We could. I have to scrape together a lot of gold for the Don. If I don't send him something soon, if I don't get some gold in, I'll have problems with my own boys. If you help me, I can cut you in for a slice. Okay. Tell me about Commandant Carlos. He's the Inquisitor's watchdog. His headquarters is in the guardhouse. He sits up there controlling everyone's lives. But it's only a matter of time before he pisses enough people off. <laughs> what are you offering if I do help you? Well, I'll give you gold. And I can teach you a few things too. Ooh. Give a man a fish, and he'll stink for a day. Give him a rod. You want to teach me to fish? In a manner of speaking. Fish for gold. I can make a pickpocket out of you. Word to the wise. You should look to the Don. Join him before you get swallowed and pissed out by the Order. Alright. What can I do? Hmm. Costa the pawnbroker's doing good business here in the gutters. He's preying on the farmers and stuffing his pockets with gold. So, what do you need doing? Since the Order has been here, he hasn't paid his dues to the Don. Hired himself a bodyguard he has and he pays the Inquisition's taxes. What about the Don's taxes, eh? Where's our slice? <laughs> Someone needs to make sure we get paid. Okay. I'll get your gold. Good. It's time we showed him we're still in charge in the gutters. But it won't be easy. Costa won't pay voluntarily. At least, not now he's got himself a bodyguard. All right. How much does Costa owe? He's caused a lot of trouble. I'd say he owes 300 gold coins for that alone. You can keep half. Ooh. I can How still pickpocket him. From him. I really don't care. If you give him a beating, you can probably just take it. But don't kill him. No point killing the golden goose. And it will get the Inquisition on our backs. But mm. teaching his bodyguard a lesson wouldn't hurt. Is there any advice you can give me? If you just cut loose on Costa, you'll have to take care of him and his bodyguard at the same time. It'd be better to deal with them one by one. Try to provoke them. 
One at a time. They start the fight, then no one will interfere. You start the fight, you'll have problems with the guards. Eh, yeah, true. Too risky. Very good. <laughs> Damn. Wait, I saw you talking to Delgado. Do you deny it? No. And who are you? I am Sebastian, a warrior of the Order of the Holy Flame. And you want to be careful who you get involved with. What do you know about Delgado? He is one of Don Esteban's men. Ruthless, the lot of them. They steal, lie, and extort. Steer clear of them. What are you doing about the Don's people? Inside the town, cornering them like rats in a burrow. Outside the town, the Inquisitor is slowly choking them, starving them of men, of gold, of food. Commandant Carlos will see the town is cleared of the Don's influence, and those left in the swamp will just wither and die. We'll finish Delgado, and the Don will follow. Favorite and least. Uh, trying to think. When I was a kid, I really liked uh, Zapdos. When I got Ruby and Sapphire, I really liked Zangoose. Still really quite like Zangoose. Least favorite? Uh, I don't know. Uh, least favorite? Trubbish. Because that was the moment when I was like, yep, they run out of ideas. Why don't you just throw the Don's men out of the town? We've tried. They get back in. We don't know where or how. So now we'll use that. Finish them where they stand. You'd better decide whose side you're on. You want to be a rat? Or a rat catcher? What's in it for me if I help? It will stand you in good stead if you'd like to go to the monastery. Our commander appreciates help, and the monastery can train you as a mage or as a warrior of the order. It would be your choice. Nope. And of course, you will receive a reward. Nah, yeah, thanks. How high is the reward for Delgado? One hundred gold pieces. That it? Mm. Holy crap, there's a lot of stuff. Wait, can I? Let's find out. Am I ever going to get yelled at? Oh, this will be fine. <laughs> get up! That's my bed. Fuck. Fine, what about this one? That's not your bed. Fuck's <laughs> sake. That's not your bed. I wonder, what if he went back to his post? I could just drink the water barrel. From the water barrel. Yeah, I realise. I'm not joining the... Makes you look suspicious. Yeah, I should probably do it so I'm not in his, like, thing. There we go. Can I sleep now? Yeah! <laughs> sleep until noon. Hey! It fucking worked! Woo! Ooh, nice. You had some pretty good stuff. You'll never know. <laughs> ah, brilliant. God damn it. It's just making me want to save all the time. Wait, there's so many people to talk to. Ooh, a berry. Please, take a look around. Are you looking for anything special? A pan, cast iron, or a necklace? If you're hungry, we have potatoes. We grow them ourselves. Have a we look have potatoes. Oh, yeah, that is. 
That's a lot of different wares for a merchant. I'm not a merchant. I'm a farmer. Was, till the ruins came. Lost my farm. You look like another refugee. Word wise, stay away from Costa. Costa? Who's Costa? He's a swindler. After everything people have lost, he's trying to take the rest. He forces people to sell their goods for less than they're worth, then resells them. Help another refugee, will you? Have a look at my goods, not the stuff he's pushing. Hmm. Why don't you sell your goods somewhere else? We're not allowed. They won't let us into the merchant's district. The Inquisition talks about law, keeps us here, then lets these scoundrels run things. We don't have enough gold to buy the goods the merchants offer. So the white robes chase us off. For a lot of us, the only thing left is Costa. He's the only one who'll buy. Hmm. What can you tell me about the town? Well, there are three districts. The gutters here, that's the street above the harbour. Farther down by the water is the harbour district. That stretches from the lighthouse to the warehouses and the prison at the end of the quay. The rich bastards live in the merchant's district. That's where the main gate of the town is. Okay. Tell me about the merchant district. If you're looking for goods and have enough gold, there's a lot of merchants around the square at the main gate. But try here first, yeah? If we refugees don't support each other, who else will? True. Tell me about the harbour. They say the gutters isn't reputable. Go down there, you get drunk sailors, a tavern and a brothel. People aren't as willing to spend gold as they used to. With the storms, the sailors are stuck here and bored. But if you're looking for pleasure, that's the place for you. You find a lot of stranded fishermen and workers at the warehouses. One of the buildings was confiscated by the order. Don't know what they're storing there. Anything else? Well, the order seized the old harbour master's office and set up a slaughterhouse there. If you have enough gold, you can buy meat. With gold and meat, you'll also find guards. Okay. Good. Tell me about the gutters. The gutters are everything above the harbour. Home to the unlucky, unloved. Unlucky. Refugees. Master Belshaw has set up a soup kitchen at the end of the road. He's a mage from the monastery, one of the order, but at least he's looking after us. And there's Flavio, a merchant. He has his business at the end of the gutters, next to the shrine. And if you want a beer, go to Josh. He has a small tavern here. Hmm. Let me see your goods. Oh my god, what the fuck? What the hell is that? Oh, it's an onion. Uh, okay. Only for cooking! Oh my god, I can get experience from the eggs. <gasps> Shall I'll support his business. There we go. 50... F fucking Jesus. 50 bloody gold. Bit crazy. There we go. God, this is going to be a lot of talking to people. Follow. Hey, do you work here? Sure do. If you're looking for somewhere to kip, just go upstairs. Pay Costa after. Isn't it a bit odd to pay afterwards? Don't ask me. I don't bring the business. I just bring the muscle. Ah, uh, okay. He is the what is it? Why is muscle needed? Costa doesn't want trouble. Trouble with whom? Guests looking for a free kip. Or anyone who wants to play silly buggers. So, you're paid muscle. Better than an unpaid muscle. Hmm. You work for Costa? Yeah. Gotta get gold where you can. Not much to be had down at the harbour. No ships means no work. Okay. Oh my god, I can actually just fight him? All right. Come on then. I could do with a bit of combat practice. You what? You want to fight me? Here? <laughs> Actually, I've changed my mind. Yeah, let's go. Yeah, let's go. Sure. Why not? I don't have anything better to do. Let's get this over with. What can I? I've got to see this. Oh my God. <laughs> 
Okay, he can parry, I guess. Oh, damn. I don't want to hit this woman. Christ. Is he using a stick? God, what paid muscle. Ooh. Owned! Oh, I can get a knife, a weed reefer. Wooden shield. And his club. Oh. Do me a favour, mate. And don't let Costa know you can fight like that. Or I'll be out of a job. I don't need to tell him. Or are we gonna have another problem? No. I might be paid for muscle. But that doesn't mean I don't have a brain. Yeah. Well, he lost his shield. Oh, is that? Fucking hell, it's all stormy. I'm Costa. Welcome to my little part of the island. If there's anything you need, anything at all, I can get it. Usually. So, okay. Oh, there. What do you sell? Weapons, potions, jewellery, scrolls. If you need it, hell, I can even get you a bed. Hmm. Right, okay. Where do you get your wares? Since there's nothing coming into town, I sell stuff we still got inside. Like what? Times are tough. People gotta to find a way to get by. Quite a few folks wanna sell their possessions for some solid coin in their hands. So you prey on people's poverty? Hey, no one's forcing them to sell their stuff. If they wish to trade their family heirlooms for a hot meal, I'm the man who helps them. I'm a charitable man, just like Bill Shaw. They'd be sleeping in the gutter without me. Okay. Anywhere around here I can sleep? It's not a good idea to spend the night in just any old bed. That's asking for trouble. But I have a couple of beds on the upper floor. Fucking God. Just 30 gold coins. 30? You're safe, peaceful, and you won't wake up with lice in your hair. I do not want to take a bed. Your goods are much too expensive. If you haven't got the gold, then stop hassling me. I can't stand beggars. There we go. I just got 25 gold for nothing. Let's trade. Ooh. Officer's coat. Yeah, it's crap. Cole's hunting bow. That's quite good. Nothing else really all that good, though. Uh, oh wait, yeah, I do have a ring. I think that's all I have, though. What is that? Oh, it's just a list. Can't sell it, though. Well, uh, okay. Delgado is waiting for his gold. Then he's gonna have to wait a long time. I'm not paying. Delgado won't like that. Is that a threat? Police. You won't pay. Is that your final say? It really wasn't very smart to get involved with a man like Delgado, you know. You'll see that soon enough. There's no Don here anymore. The Order controls this place. So, no payment. And yes, that is my final say. <laughs> Fine. Then I'll take the gold. We'll see about that. Fuller! I've already dealt with him. Fuller. Worthless sack of bones. <laughs> you want to make things personal? You want it, you come and take it. Oh, I will. You're ready for this. Oh, you're ready for this. Oh my god. Wow, Costa, you do not put up a th any sort of fight. There we go, we got his purse. Done. That was easy. <laughs> that was so... <laughs> oh man, he wasn't even... Wasn't even an issue. Here's Costa's gold. Oh, that's great. Let's see. 150 for me. The rest for you. I'll tell Scordo you did good work. Nice. 
Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Tell me about Scorden. I shouldn't really have mentioned his name. Best not to ask too many questions. That means he's the Don's man here. Where can I find him? Clever one, aren't you? You can't find him. He's in hiding. He'll find you when the time comes. And not another word about him. Neither you nor I know that name. Got it? Understood. What do we do now? If you want more work here, you can try to collect from Josh. Not that profitable. But you have to take what you can get. Besides that, keep your ears open. You're bound to pick up on some opportunities. Hmm. What can you teach me? I keep my word. If you want, I'll teach you to be a good thief. I want to be a better thief. Oh, well. Actually, help me. That's good. There we go. I've got up to twenty dexterity now. Perfect. What is that? Wait. So if I talk to him. Gloat, have you? Stealing gold from an honest businessman who's just trying to help folks get by. I did warn you. We've all got to make a living, I guess. So, let bygones be bygones, eh? Well, if it means you'll be spending some coin with me, then I'll oblige. Of course. Well, I should be able to just take a bed for nothing now. That's weird. Is he gonna be finished anytime soon? Whatever. No worries, dude. I won't be recording for much longer anyway. Look at that. Ooh. Well, yeah. Thanks for stopping by. And uh, talk to you some other time. Oh shit, there's someone here. Doyle. Oh yeah. Nice. What do you want here? I could ask you the same thing. I sleep here. Nothing wrong with that, is there, mate? Yes, there, mate. That's true. What do you do? I, um, work for the fishmonger. Is that so? Honest. I pick up the fish and take them out to sell them. You don't look busy. Well, storms mean no fishing, and nobody's got much to spend. Okay. If I sleep here, you'd better not steal from me. Mate, trust me. I don't do things like that. Well, let's keep it that way. I don't know who you are, mate, but I promise you're safe here. I do not trust him. What do you think of the Inquisition? They protect us. I can't complain about that. And once they've done what they have to, everything will be like it used to be. Hey, I'm sneaking. Whoops. Might be. I have a feeling this is going to result in getting my ass beat. So, doesn't really matter if it does. Hmm. Either way, next session is going to be a lot of uh, Harbour Town questing. Oh. Okay. No one cares. <laughs> nice. What do we get? Three lumps of gold. All right, take it. He also has a cupboard. Oh man, just robbing people is the best. Yeah, it works out really nicely. Also, the fact he stands outside, so I could just use his bed constantly. It's really quite nice. 
Um, honestly, I think it's a good place to end the session. There's still a lot of stuff to do in Harbour Town, but I have only just got here, so it's not that surprising. But yeah, that is going to be the end of the session. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have enjoyed. And until next time, take care.